All right, I just wanted to show y'all how much of an idiot I am. So this is the engine out of the RX-7. I pulled it out yesterday, sitting over there on ramps. But so the car started making a bunch of metal. I cut the filter rope. Well, let me back up. The oil pressure dropped about 10 PSI um, from where it normally was. So I figured something was wrong. So I pulled the filter off, cut it open, thank God. And um, there was a bunch of glitter in the oil filter. I didn't have a whole lot of confidence in this build. It was kind of an experiment for me. And honestly, I think it would have worked if I didn't do one dumb thing. And I cannot believe I did it. I just wanted to show you how dumb I am. But <clears throat> one rod that I had in here in this hole, here's the bearings out of it. They are completely torched. It doesn't look like it got hot and messed the rod up. It would have to be measured for me to really tell. But the bearings were spun and it just cooked the bearings out of it. So it's kind of hard to tell, but on your crank, you can see it's pretty, pretty scored up. Um, and the, the cylinder walls are scored because there was so much trash going around in this motor. Um, but your crank is uh, got a little fillet or a chamfer on this end and it's on this end of the crank and there's one on that end of the crank. So the rods have a chamfer made on them to clear that. The stock crank doesn't have a big one, but aftermarket cranks have a pretty large one because they're they just use all the material they can. So this side right here has got the chamfer and that is supposed to go towards if it's in the block, it's supposed to go that way towards the counterweight. Well, I had it backwards like an idiot. I knew better, but I was just rushing to get this motor together. And what happened was, as you can see on one side of these bearings is the uh, chamfer was riding on the bearing. Um, you can see it on this one too, riding on that side over here. And it ended up grabbing the bearing and spinning it. As you can see, there's no locks on the bearings anymore where they where they fit. And there's usually like a lock in here where it kind of just centers it in the rod. Well, they're gone because it grinded them off because it spun them just, just a little bit. They weren't spun all the way around, but just spun out of the locks just enough to cause a bunch of destruction. So the crank is pretty much done unless I take it to the machine shop and get it fixed. Um, the, all the bearings need to be replaced. The cylinder walls could probably be cleaned up with a hone. Um, and I'm kind of, uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do at this point. I've got a LC9 bottom end right here. I could just take the cam and everything, stick it in there, put these heads on that and get it back together. Um, and just figure out what to do with this later, which I might do. It's the fastest thing to do and it would get me back running and probably next weekend I could have it back running. But at this point, I'm not real sure what I'm going to do, but I figured I'd update you guys and let you get a good laugh.